Hello, my name is Wojtek and today I want to talk about exporting a complex model from Blender 2.8 uh, into a Godot. So a few days ago I watched a video by Game From Scratch about uh, this topic and the conclusion was to use a GLTF exporter. So I tried it and in my case it didn't really work so well. And I searched and searched and I found that uh, community, Godot community suggested using a different plugin uh, which creates an ESCN files. So I tried it and I thought that it worked better. So I decided to create this little tutorial uh, which compares uh, those two exporters. Okay, so I have this simple demo scene with a character and and uh, it have a mm, bone attachment uh, sword and if I move my hand the sword also moves and it also have few animations so you can see uh, of course they all should be unmuted uh, to work properly with uh, every exporter and uh, when I go to the uh, layout page, set up uh, my pose as a rest position as uh, guide suggested, and I export um, to GLTF GLTB uh, file. I set up my uh, meshes. Uh, I export it uh, with the settings. Uh, y is up. We apply modifiers, okay, and in animation we export our animation skinning and we include all, or we don't need to include all bone influences, okay, and when you click export GLTF, of course it takes a while, okay, okay, so the file is finally exported, uh, it took a few seconds. And we are in Godot, so let's open uh, as a new inherited scene. And uh, on the first glance, everything looks okay, except that we don't have our sword attachment bone. So that's the first flow of this exporter. But the second one, in my opinion, is much worse because when I try to export my uh, animations. Uh, in the first glance everything is okay again, but when we try, for example, our second animation and we play it, well, that's a weird shape, in my opinion. Maybe this one is some something wrong with this one. So we select the third one, okay? Let's see this one. No, this one isn't really uh, good uh, either. So, uh, and I tried many different options in a Blender export and I couldn't figure it out. Uh, okay, and uh, then I found the second ESCN exporter. So let's try this one. Okay, so let's now try exporting to the ESCN file format. So the important thing is to have uh, this armature up here selected and uh, every each of other action uh, should be unchecked in the checkbox and uh, unlocked uh, in a lock uh, so that the ESCN will be exported uh, correctly. Okay, so then go to the export and select do that engine and then uh, you should export stashed actions. So select this checkbox. Okay, and I'm using only armature and geometry export sync. Okay, so everything is set up. I can uh, click it uh, export to Godot, but uh, the important thing is also we need to export it in the Godot project directory, uh, otherwise it won't work. So let's export and we have a bunch of uh, uh, errors or warnings, 
but we don't really need to be afraid of them mm, everything uh, will be working okay okay and we have our object uh, ESC and in a Godot so let's open it anyway and as you can see we have a properly exported <laughs> sword as a bone attachment but our materials are a little bit weird uh, we can easily fix that by going to our mesh selecting surface material and uh, going to our shader searching for the vertex function at writing xy is equal to uv that's all we need to do to fix our materials let's also fix our ice material so let's go into shader let's find vertex function and type xy is equal to uv okay uh, I am not really sure about uh, why that's happening probably there's something about uh, 3d uh, texturing and stuff like that uh, and probably the better way would be to mm, delete uh, all materials from our mesh exported from blender and use uh, building good at spatial material uh, and use uh, textures which are uh, conveniently located in our Godot uh, folder but for this simple example this should do and the important thing uh, when we try to play our animation we have uh, all our actions and when we play them everything seems to be working correctly and we can hide our sword so yeah we can loop it and everything seems to be working mm, as expected okay so i hope this short video tutorial helped you with exporting your meshes with complex animation and bone attachments into a godot if you have any questions please leave a comment cheers